All right, guys, so here we are at um, on our way to Goatman's Bridge in Denton. I've never been here, so I'm not really too sure how to get to it. But apparently it's this way. Oh, there it is. This is some... Some horse trails that go this way. I have many memories of old Alton Bridge and loved every one of them. So we got some people at the actual bridge. Huh. Looks like got some got some trails that go off to these woods. And it's still just really way too early to be here because there's too many. It's a historical landmark, so a lot of people are here taking photos on of themselves on the bridge and right next to us.
All right, guys, so we're down here in the woods of Old Denton's uh, Goatman's Bridge, and I came across, I don't even know what this is. This. And there's just paths that go everywhere. And it's still kind of early. There's people out here taking pictures and stuff though it's already dark Legend has it that um, a sheep farmer used to live here uh, years ago, but dating back to the 1800s. This was the actual old road that got to his house before 35 was even built. Um, and the story goes a little something like this. Basically, he was a sheep farmer and he was pushed over the edge of this rail of this bridge. Uh, and plummeted to his death only when the people who pushed him over the bridge looked down let's see if I can get a footage of it when he looked down they didn't see his body down there he had vanished so they thought he was still alive and they ran back to his house and slaughtered his whole family and to this day, he still haunts these woods and this bridge. People have uh, reported a lot of paranormal stuff here. Uh, a lot of paranormal investigators do investigations here. Um, it's a historical landmark. So there's a lot of people here and stuff going on. It's uh, probably like 9 o'clock right now. But this is the actual bridge that we're standing on right now. Reports have it that um, a half man, half goat, some type of paranormal half man, half goat, haunts these woods. Now there are trails all through these woods. It's still really early. There's trails all through these woods. 
Um, and we're probably gonna go explore when you when you knock on this bridge. You're supposed to be able to uh, hear him knock back. Like I said, it's still really early. Um, we're going to try to stay here late. See, well, I left to go get something to eat because I was thinking maybe that when I came back it would be a little bit deader. But it actually was more populated. There's more cars here now. This is the historical landmark sign here. Going back to, uh, right there, 1884. This bridge right here, completed in 1884. This bridge. actually used to be a bridge that got you from point A to point B between Dallas and Denton, I guess. I've never actually been here, but this is the bridge where the sheep farmer was pushed to his death, only to find out when they looked down, he was not there. So they panicked, and they thought he was still alive, so they went back to his house and they murdered his whole family and supposedly that's how the story goes and that's why they say that he still haunts this bridge actually a very well-known attraction for ghost hunters now if you guys see anything in this video that I don't see or that I missed please make sure you let me know in the comments below I know it's really dark. I like normally trying to go on these on these little ghost hunts at night because I mean if a place is haunted it doesn't really matter what time of the day it is but I really try to go when it's dark because I think you might get a better reaction.
Now, I mean, there's just all kinds of little paths that go all different kinds of ways. We're going to see which way this goes without getting lost. Not gonna lie, guys, it's pretty creepy out here. The further you get. Well, we're, we're real deep in the woods over here uh, by by Goatman's Bridge in Denton. I mean, we're really deep in these woods. I followed a lot of trails to get to here, and we're really far away from all the other people. And I found something that looks like might have been some type of structure in the past. I'm not sure if it was Goatman's house or part of his house. I, I mean, it could be, but it looks pretty old. It's made of sheet metal. It looks like a barn. Here it is. I mean, it's just fallen down. People have spray painted all over it. It looks like at one point in time, it might have been somebody's house. And part of it still stands. What the fuck was that? Did you guys hear that? Part of it, something just jumped from over there. It might have been an animal. But part of it still stands. Could be the, could possibly be the house of uh, Goatman. I don't know his actual real name. But, I mean, we are... I might want to start heading back because I'm not too sure where this trail is. We're trying to make our way back to uh, Goatman's Bridge because that's what we're actually trying to do the investigation on. But I wanted to go through the woods to see if we got any type of caught anything on film and to see where they led. So go back to this. Looks like what used to be a. Uh, a I told you what kind of plants and animals were at the at this location. Vandalized it. Anyway, like I was saying, um, so we're gonna make our way back to Goldman's Bridge, and we're gonna see if uh, anybody's there still. Make our way out of these woods. We just went on a pretty long walk through the woods. Um, I didn't record the whole trip just because. Um, Pretty sure very few of you are going to sit through a long dark walk through the woods for over an hour because that's about how long I've been walking through these woods because they just keep going on and on and on. It's a uh, 10, a uh, 10, 10 now. I've been walking since about nine through the woods. Going all the way to the top of that tree. Guess where people swing from it and jump into the water.
Looks kind of fun, actually. <clears throat> so here's the old bridge so we made it back here it is Is there anyone here who wants to communicate with us? out here and have spotted uh, uh, half man half goat apparitions in the woods uh, noises all kinds it of is about stuff. 11 o'clock right now so we've been out here for about three hours um, and it just keeps getting more and more crowded but um, I took a long walk in the woods and I did hear a lot of creepy stuff in the woods but nothing really happened to me so um, but supposedly he was pushed off of this bridge uh, to his to his death, and when they looked down to, to see him, to see if he was there, he wasn't. So when they pushed him off a the bridge, they looked over, and he he wasn't there. His body wasn't floating or anything like that. He was just gone. So they panicked and they thought that maybe he had escaped somehow and didn't die and went back home to notify the police or something slaughtered his whole family they killed everybody and um, apparently that's where the legend begins of a uh, Goatman's Bridge which is where I'm standing on right now so pretty much uh, wrap this up but yeah this is uh, a train out here at Goatman's Bridge if you saw anything that you uh, that I missed in the video or anything like that please uh, Write me a comment below. Um, peace.